Camtasia is a video software growing appeal for video creators. One of the most value-adding feature is what they call dynamic auto-caption. But how does this tool really work? Can you generate closed caption that can be easily turned off? Or can you export an existing tutorial file in Camtasia? Well, if you have any of these questions, this extensive video guide is for you. Here, I'm going to walk you through step by step through the entire process so you can easily subtitle your videos on Camtasia. I'm also going to give you an additional tool that you can use to make the process even more professional. Sounds good to you? Let's go! First, let's explore Camtasia Dynamic Auto Caption feature. This tool uses AI speech to text to transcribe your audio accurately and to burn the subtitles into your video with multiple types of animation. With the latest update, it's also really good to sync your subtitles with your video. So it's really a good tool. Here's how to use it step by step. Step one, enable auto caption. So to begin with, start by opening Captasia and loading your video project. Then click on the caption tab in the left hand menu. Then go to the dynamic caption tab. Here, as you can see, you have a variety of dynamic templates. So choose the one of your liking to apply it on your audio track. Just have to drag and drop it on the timeline to achieve that. Step two, review and edit the captions. Once the captions have been generated, you'll need to review and edit them to correct any errors because it's not usually a perfect transcription. For that, click on the audio track and you'll see each individual word detected and transcribed by Camtasia AI model. So here you can click on each block in the caption panel and make any necessary edits. If your captions are also not well synced in, which could be the case, you can optimize them by zooming in on the audio track and turning on the display of the transcription on the timeline. You can synchronize individual caption sequences by dragging the caption bar on the timeline to align it precisely with the spoken words. You can also split or merge captions to improve readability and timing. Finally, Camtasia also allows you to customize the appearance of your captions. To do that, click on the property of the dynamic caption track. On this new window, you can adjust the font, size, color, and positioning to match your brand or video aesthetic. Just something like that, for example. Step 3. Export your subtitles. Once your captions are currently synced in and in the right format, watch the entire video one last time to confirm that everything is accurate and well-timed. Then click Export and choose your preferred file format. Your captions will be burned into the video by default, but you cannot export dynamic caption as a subtitle file. To do that, you need to make closed captions. And that's the next thing I'm going to show you. So besides dynamic captions, Camtasia also provides closed caption feature. What's the difference between closed caption and dynamic captions? Well, for closed caption, their display can be turned on or off on a supported video player, like for example, VLC. Whereas for dynamic captions, they are permanently burned into the video. So they're always displayed on the video. Here's how you can do closed caption on Camtasia. Step one, open the closed caption tab. To begin with, open and load your video project again. Click on the caption tab in the left hand menu to access the captioning tool. Now go to the closed caption section where you have two possibilities. Either you can import an existing subtitle file, for example, a SRT file, or you can add new subtitles. Let's start by the first option. So to use your existing subtitle file, you can import them directly into Camtasia. Camtasia will automatically sync the caption with your video timeline, but you can adjust it if you see any discrepancy. Then you just have to export your captions with the soft subtitles. Step two, add caption with the text-to-speech feature. Now let's talk about how to create new captions from scratch. To do that, you can either create caption sequences manually or do it automatically. But I prefer to tell you the manual way is rather burdensome. So I recommend you instead to always rely on the speech-to-text feature. 
that allows you to do 95% of the job in one click. For that, go and find the speech to text option that is on the closed caption window and let the AI process the audio. When it's done, you get all the caption sequences on your timeline. Now, as you can see, you have a special caption editor that will allow you to adjust the caption text for each sequence. Play each of the sequences successively and adjust the transcription. You can also adjust the caption timing by splitting the captions and dragging the captions bar to match the speech actual duration. Since these are closed captions, you cannot customize them. So yeah, it's always the same format on every video player. So the only thing that you have to do is just export your captions with the soft subtitles. Now, if you're looking to really scale your subtitle workflow, you can use an AI subtitle generator. One is called Checksum. Unlike the caption features into traditional video editor, Checksub offers advanced customization, better accuracy, multi-language support, and a smart and real-time subtitle editor. Here's how to implement it into your workflow. Step one, access the Checksub subtitle interface. To do that, it's simple. Start by logging into your Checksub account at mychecksub.com. If you don't have one yet, it's okay. Creating an account is quick and straightforward. Once logged in, upload your video to the platform. Then when it's uploaded, just choose the original language of your subtitles or potentially another language that you want to translate it to and start the process. If you already have a subtitle file, you can also go to the option menu and activate the option to upload it. Then you can add any subtitle or transcription file that you have and get started from there. And it will only take a few minutes. Step two, review the subtitles. Now here's the best part. You now have access to Shexub's real-time subtitle editor. Here we can review and edit the transcription directly in the editor and the subtitles will be synced in automatically based on your modifications. Just like here. With this editor, you can then adjust any small errors that the AI transcription can still make from time to time. Once your subtitles are polished, you can also customize their appearance in details. For that, go to the style panel, apply any template that you want if you want to apply a template and not do manual edits, or adjust the font size, color, background, and placement manual. You can also add animation based on our various animation template. Like this one. This one looks good. Step 3. Export your subtitles. To do that, it's also easy. Go to the export panel and then here you can either click on the button video if you want to download your video with burn-in subtitles or on the button subtitle if you want to get your subtitles into the SRT VTT file, you'll then immediately get your video with the right subtitle style or the right subtitle format. Now that's it. You now know how to do on Captasia closed captions, dynamic captions, or to use an AI subtitle generator to make the process smoother and more professional. So choose the method that works best for you and for your project requirements. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, or to comment if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video.